Hi there, welcome to this free Lightroom tutorial. My name is Jeremy Roloff, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to import a preset into Lightroom, how to apply that preset to your photos, and then what I do specifically to my photos after I apply a preset. And then if we got some time, we'll even do uh, an export, just to be clear, and so you guys know how to export your photos. So. First and foremost, I'm working in Lightroom desktop, Lightroom, uh, Adobe Lightroom CC desktop version. They do have a mobile version, and there is a way to use these presets on your mobile device, but that is for a different video. Uh, so I'm not gonna be talking about that in this video. So if you do have the desktop version of Lightroom, that is where this will be the most helpful for you. So uh, with that being said, let's jump into my computer here and yeah, get going. All right, so here I am in my computer here. Uh, and right now when you open Lightroom, normally what it defaults to is the library tab up here. Um, we're gonna wanna jump over to the develop tab. So go ahead and click that. So here we are in the develop tab. I have a couple images down here imported. These are the ones we're gonna be working with today. And then over here on the left side, there's a couple modules. Right? So you're gonna to wanna to expand the preset module. Um, and then it'll show you the presets that you have in there. And then you can manage those presets by clicking the plus button and go to manage presets. But today we're gonna to import a preset. So you'll click import preset. And obviously this is your computer. And if you've downloaded a preset or um, you know someone sent one to you or whatever, those are most likely gonna show up in your downloads folder. So I think the way that I deliver them, if you got one from my website, or if you have the free Love Letter Life presets from uh, the pre-order of the book, they're gonna probably be in your downloads folder. Um, for purposes of this tutorial, I've dragged it from my downloads folder and put it on my desktop. So here's my desktop tab. And then what you will do is uh, you'll find your preset. So all these are, I actually have as presets. So you'll click the preset, whatever it is, then you'll just go down here and click import. And that'll automatically import the preset into your preset tab. And it'll most likely show under user presets here. I'm not gonna open that up because it's a mess right now, but um, I already have them pre-imported here. So we're gonna play with uh, history presets and then we're gonna look at the Love Letter Life exclusive presets. And these are the ones that are for free and are delivered to anyone that pre-orders our book, A Love Letter Life. All right, so how to apply a preset, super simple. You literally just tap on it and it automatically applies that preset to the photo. And to, if you haven't watched the welcome video just to, on the, my website, Jeremy Roloff Presets, just to recap, a preset is exactly that, predetermined settings for your photo. So what I've done is I've gone into Lightroom made hundreds of adjustments to a photo and I've saved that as a preset. And so I can now apply those same adjustments to any photo I want or any body of work I want. So I just applied it to this photo. And although I like it, there's obviously things about it that needs changing. It's a little dark, the horizon line is not um, you know, straight, and there's just other adjustments that I think I would personally do to this photo. Um, so you, know, you can go over here and although all the adjustments are already applied, you can still play with them. So I'd probably brighten it up quite a bit. Um, I'd obviously take my horizon line, straighten her out, hit enter. Uh, maybe bump the warmth a slightly. I think we might be a little yellow. So I'm gonna go down here to the hue tab and play with that. Sometimes it's not where you think it is. So for this, for example, it was the orange tab. Um, and, and yeah, you can go in and play with pretty much any of these settings. For the sake of time, I'm not gonna go in and you know do it all, but you get the idea. Um, you can, just because you've applied a preset, you know the photo still demands its own, its own settings after the preset's applied. So let's just say, uh, you know, I go to this photo, I apply the preset, and then I wanted to apply it to the whole body of work down here. I would go to the end, I would hold shift, click, and then I would sync my settings. And it's now synced this preset, this photo, with all the photos down here. And a good way to look at the before and after of your photo is the backspace key. Backspace key. 
So I'm just gonna hit backspace, that's before, after. So this is history 01, and it's my personal go-to favorite preset that I use pretty much on everything. And I'll apply this preset, and then I'll just tweak it depending on each photo. Here's a couple more of them. I like history three, that's a little bit more Pacific Northwesty before, after. Here's four, a little bit brighter before, or sorry, before, after. If I were to go back to three, um, and I were to brighten this up a little bit, yeah, it's starting to look a little bit more like four, but just more saturated. So anyways, these are all variations of each other, and they're, they're all different purposes for different photo, and like this one's pretty grainy. I, I like the grain and that's the purpose of this preset pack is to give that kind of old historic feel. But if it's too grainy for you, you can always find the grain module down here and just pull the grain out. And then there you have all the beautiful tones without the grain. So that's how you apply a photo. And I just wanna make it clear that every photo is its own photo. And although you can apply a preset to 100 photos, and that'll save you a ton of time getting the look and feel you want across the body of work. You still wanna go in and do micro adjustments to each photo. Let's look at some Love Letter Life presets down here. Again, these are exclusive, only available to those that pre-order our book. We thought it'd be a fun, um, just something fun to do. There's a ton of free stuff we're giving to people that pre-order the book, but this was just an idea I had like, let's give them a photo preset that allows them to build off of and kind of make their love story or their photos look the way they want with an awesome preset. So that was kind of the, the idea behind this. So I'm gonna reset these. And now we're gonna play with this one. So let's just look at this photo. And we're gonna reset it. Okay, so I love a lot of life. These are a little bit warmer toned and they're supposed to just give a super solid base to run with. So um, the idea is to like, you know, you can apply kind of that warm, romantic, vintagey but clean vibe on any of these presets and it would work really well. So uh, maybe we don't play with that. Maybe we play with this one. Yeah, okay, so let's go to like, that's Love Their Life one, two, and three. So yeah, I'm gonna choose the first one here. And I like what it did, but it's a little contrasty and a little dark. So we're gonna go over here and add some brightness. Pretty immediately it's looking good. One way to do micro adjustments is to hover over them and then hit the up arrows or the down arrows and it moves in five, um, you know, measures of five. So I'm gonna add a little bit of warmth. I'm gonna pull the exposure down subtly. Digging that. And then let's say like you want this color, or not that, let's say like the green here, like I don't like the green here, right? I can go to the hue tab here, um, click this little guy, and this is your picker. So this will select wherever you're, you know, you're picked on and only change those tones. So I can click that and drag that hue down or up. See how it's playing with that? So I'm gonna make it a little bit yellower Let's say I want like just the saturation to go down. You can do the same thing and you can get rid of that. And again, it's doing that to anything of that same tonality and color or whatever. So you can get as specific as you want and change the image as much as you want. These are just some brief tools. Again, free tutorial. I'm just kind of throwing a lot at you here. Um, but over here is, is pretty much endless in, in exploration. Something I like to do to all my photos is add a gradient. So you can take the gradient tool up here, um, pull this up and then I like to pull it down a little bit. It's a little bit much, so I'll pull it down. And this, in my world, grounds the photo, and I pretty much do this to all my images. It adds just a nice grounding. Works really well in like landscape stuff. You can also go up here to the brush. Let's say I want us to just be a little bit brighter. Paint on us a little bit. And then you can go up and down with that. You could even paint colors. Anyways, I'm getting all into it because I, lo I love this stuff, but before and after. Before, after. So this is with a Love Letter Life one preset. And let's say you want it more warm, just a little bit warmer tones. There we go. And then I would export this. So um, 
Let's maybe do this one. Yeah, I mean, I'm love letter life too. I would just apply that and call it good. Brighten it a little bit before, after. Before, after. It's a little bright on ember there, so I might pull my highlights down a little bit. And then to compensate, boost the exposure slightly again. Okay. Before, after. I mean, that's, yeah, that's done. So. You can see how much time presets save, right? You just boom, apply it, micro adjustments, and you're good to go. To export, super simple. Like, let's say I just want to export this photo of my dad and Ember and Jackson. Um, you'd go back to the library tab. And library is where Lightroom is really powerful with the photo managing aspect of it and the organizing and stuff. Uh, I would just hit export here. You can choose all your settings, choose where to send it, what to name it, what to size it anything and everything you want, you get the idea. You would hit export and it would go straight to where you put it. I like to use Dropbox as a post Lightroom uh, management system. So I've got, in Dropbox, I've got it broken down by years and then projects and then ultimately task names. So like this would be, you know, 2018, I would name the photo just, you know, whatever it is, pumpkin season, and it would be in the pumpkin season folder. Um, and, and the reason I like to use Dropbox is because I can access all those photos on my phone or any and every device, or if I could get on Audrey's phone and put it to her phone. So there we have it. That's the quick Lightroom tutorial. I really hope this was useful. If you're here, you've either downloaded this from the site, found it online, or you have purchased one of the presets. Maybe it's the history preset pack, or you pre-ordered our book, and this came with, with those exclusive presets. So I wanna say thank you. Hope this was useful. I miss talking about photo stuff. Maybe I'm gonna do some more of this. Um, yeah, hit me up online, tell me what you think. We'll see you guys on the internet.